Hello guys, in this video I am going to show you how we can create this pixel art generator using pure javascript. So as you can see you can right click and move your mouse to draw whatever you want. You can choose color, whatever color you want, let's try this red color. If I click it will fill that pixel or that div with red color. If we click and move our mouse this will also keep coloring the, the pixel or the div whatever you wanna call it. And we can click on this reset button to reset everything. And we can also change the size of our grid. So right now this is a grid of 30 by 30. If we were to say 10 by 10, this would be a grid of 10 by 10. If we were to say 100 by 100, this would be a grid of 100 by 100. So let's change this to 20 again. Okay, so this is what we are going to be building today. So I hope you are excited for this. Like and subscribe now if you haven't already. And let's get started. Okay, so first thing we are going to do is create index.html. We also need a style.css and a main.js in the html let's create our basic markup so we are going to say exclamation mark tab and let's link our css file so we are going to say link and this will be style.css and let's do the same for our javascript file so we are going to say script source equals to main.js save and right click click on open with live server so here we have this empty page now let's style it so first thing we are going to do is target everything and we are going to say this will have a margin of 0, so margin 0 and the padding of 0. Then let's target our body. So our body will have this purple color, so let's try to copy this color. So I am going to click on inspect. And this is the purple color, let me copy this, control C. And we are going to say background color equals to the color we just copied and save. Now our body have this color that we had in our finished project. Okay, now let's create this navbar and this container. So we're going to say a div with a class of navbar. Inside that, we're going to have a button, a color picker, and a number input. So let's create them. Let's create a button. And let's give it a class of btn for button. And this will say reset. And then we also need a color input. So we're going to say input type color. So input that will be a type of color let's also give it a class of color so we're going to say class equals to color and finally we'll have input type numbers so let's say input colon number so the type will be number and let's give it a class of let's say size save let's see how that looks so this is looking very ugly so let's style them so let's go to our style sheet actually before that let me just create a container so we're going to say div with a class of container inside that for now let's just say hello okay now in our css we're going to say our body to have a display of flex so we're going to say display to be flex and we're going to say justify content to center so justify content center and we are also going to say align items to center if we save it as you can see they are centered horizontally but not vertically so we are going to say our html and body both of them to have a height of 100% save and now they are centered horizontally and vertically now i also want this container to be below our navbar so we are going to say flex direction to be column so flex dash direction equals to column save so now here they are and now let's target our navbar and container so we are going to say navbar and our container let's say both of them will have a background color of again we can copy the color from the finished project so i'm going to click on inspect and this is the color so let me copy this Control c and you can paste it here background color equals to the color we just copied save and let's say both of them will have a width of 800 pixels so let's say width of 800 Pixel save. So let's also target our navbar separately. So we're going to say navbar. Let's say this will have a padding of let's try 1 em. And let's say this will have some margin bottom. So we're going to say margin bottom of let's try 1 em. Save. So now this is a little bit bigger than the, our container. So we're also going to say everything to have a box sizing or border box. Save. So now they are equal in width. Let's also say they, both of them will have some border radius. So I'm going to say border radius of uh, let's say 3 pixel. Save. Yeah, 3 pixel should be good enough. Now let's say our container will also have a display of flex. So let me copy these lines and we're going to paste it here. Save. So here they are. 
let's also style the input so we're going to say dot btn and our input let's so both of them will have a height of let's try 35 pixel 35 pixel should be good enough let's also add some padding so padding the top bottom can be 0 and left right can be 1 em save and this should be good enough let's also target our input type color so we're going to say dot color this one will have a padding uh, top bottom 0 and left right let's say 0.25 em and let's also say this will have a width of 100 pixel and a margin the top bottom will be 0 and the left right can be 1 em save and now this is very close to what we had in our finished project ok now let's also add some default value for our color and this input so let's go to our html and let's say our color picker by default the color equals to let's try to choose a color so let me just try to copy this so control c and you can paste it control v oops ok for some reason you can copy the color from this color picker i don't know why so it's, we have to type it out so this is 00 e e f f so we are going to say hashtag 00 e e f f save ok this should be value not color so we are going to say value save and now this will have this light blue color by default let's say our input type number should also have a default value of 30 so by default we should have a 30 by 30 grid so in our container just for testing inside that we'll have a div with a class of pixel we'll have multiple of them so let's try to copy them so for now let's just say we have four of them and let's style them in our css so we're going to say pixel let's say they will have a background color of white hashtag fff ok now we still can see them that is because they don't have any height or width and our container does not have any height either so let's target our container so let's say dot container and let's say this will have a height of 800 pixels so height of 800 pixel now we can see our container but we still can see our pixel so let's style them now instead of giving height and width to our pixel we are going to say our container will have a display of grid so we are going to say display and the display will be grid save and then we are going to say grid template columns so let's say repeat and let's say repeat four times and one fr and we are going to do the same for the column so we are going to say grid template columns equals to repeat repeat four times and the size will be one fr so one fractional unit ok so now actually we have one two three four div here you can see it but if we are to say grid gap so let's say gap the gap can be let's say three pixel save and now as you can see we have this three pixel div so that is because in our html we have four divs ok 4 sorry so 4 div here that is th those are these divs so let's try to copy them 1 2 3 4 times save and now we have a grid of 4 by 4 and we are also going to say our container will have a padding of 3 pixels so padding of 3 pixel we have to add this semicolon here save and let's say our pixel will have some border radius so let's say border radius The border is, radius can be let's say 2 pixel save ok we it should be radius so now they have a little bit of border radius here ok now we don't want just 4 by 4 grid we want let's say if the input value is 30 we want a 30 by 30 grid so 30 by 30 means we'll have a 900 div in total we don't just want to type 900 divs here so let's say we are going to remove all of them and we are going to add divs in our javascript so let's say in our javascript first let's target our container so let's say const container equals to document dot query selector dot container and then we are going to create a function called let's say populate And what this function will do is take the size of our grid so let's say if we pass 4 here this will create a div of 4 by 4 so basically add 6 divs inside these containers so we are going to call it size and then we are going to say for i equals to 0 i is less than 
size i plus plus we are going to create a div we are going to add a class of pixel to that div so pixel and then we can say container dot append child so we are going to say container dot append child div so now let's try to call this function so we are going to say populate and for now let's just pass 4 here save so now we have this grid of 4 now if we pass 4 we don't just want to create 4 div we want to create a 4 by 4 grid so 4 times 4 equals to 16 so here we instead of just saying size we are going to say size times size save now we have a grid of 4 by 4 if we were to say 3 now we have 9 div so now this is not working as we want so instead of just saying repeat 4 here repeat 4 here we are going to create a variable here so we are going to say dash dash we can call it size so size equals to so by default this can be 4 and here instead of just using 4 we are going to say var and we are going to use our size variable so we are going to say dash dash size let's do the same here so we are going to say dash dash size okay this should be var dash dash size save and now this still works the same but now after this loop what we can we can do is say container actually let's go before the loop so we're going to say here and here we're going to say container dot style and then here we're going to set a variable so we're going to say dot set property so set property and when to set the property of size to the size we provide in our populate function so if you were to save it so now we have this 3 by 3 grid if you were to say 2 we'd get this 2 by 2 grid if we were to say 20 we would get this 20 by 20 grid okay so by default instead of just passing 20 we want to get the value of our input so we're going to say const size equals to document dot query selector and this input has a class of size so dot size actually let's call it size el for size element and the actual size so we're going to say const size equals to size element dot value and here instead of just passing 20 we're going to say size save and now we have this grid of 30 by 30 so if we had 20 we'd have a grid of 20 by 20 okay let's change it back save okay let's change the initial background color of our pixel so here as you can see by default we have this gray color so let me copy this click on inspect so let's try this one and let's get the background color so this is the background color we have initially so copy this Control c go to our css and here we can paste it so Control v we have to add a colon here so save so yeah now we have the same color also so now let's see how we can draw them so for that we can add event listener to our div so we are going to say div dot add event listener so here let's say div dot add event listener and we are going to listen for the mouse over event and then we are going to call this function and inside that we can simply say div dot style dot background color equals to this will be our color input dot color let's target our color input so we are going to say const color equals to document dot query selector dot color and here we can simply say color dot value so color dot value like so save now if we were to hover on them as you can see we get the color that we have in our input so let's change the color let's try this color and again if we hover on our pixel they get this color but we don't want this to be keep drawing we only want to draw when we right click on our button and then move our mouse so let's do that so for that we are going to create a variable so we are going to select draw equals to false and we are going to draw only if the draw is set to true so we are going to say if exclamation mark draw in that case we are simply going to return so we won't go go to this line so if we have to now save it and move our mouse nothing happens but when we right click our mouse the draw should be set to true so let's do that actually le left click sorry so we are going to say window dot add event listener and we are going to listen for the mouse down event so we are going to say mouse down so when our mouse is clicked we are going to run this function so inside the function we can simply say draw equals to true and let me copy this so alt shift down to copy this and then we are going to listen for the mouse up event so when the user releases his finger from the mouse we are going to again set the draw back to false so we won't draw anymore so if you now save it and hover on these pixels nothing happens but if we now click on our mouse and then move our mouse as you can see we draw we keep drawing but one thing you will see is if I click on this div nothing happens if I move 
the next div gets highlighted but not the div we initially clicked so we are again going to copy this so alt shift and down and we are also going to listen for the click event let's say so click so when it is click we don't need to check for the draw so we can just delete this and we are going to just again set the background color to be the color of our input ok not click sorry we are going to listen for the mouse down here also so we are going to say mouse down save so as you can see if we click on them it gets highlighted and if we move our mouse it also draws as normal as we ex as we would expect we can also change color and this will still work so as you can see this is still working now we want this reset, reset button to work so let's do that so we're going to say const reset button so we're going to say const reset equals to document dot query selected dot reset reset is our reset button so we're going to add event listener let's add it here so we're going to say reset dot add event listener so reset dot add event listener we're going to listen for the click event when it is click when we're going to run this function so here first we're going to say container dot inner html equals to empty string so remove all the pixel from the container and then we can just call this populate function again so save it it looks like we have some error let's see what is that click on inspect it says cannot read properties of undefined add event listener so let's see what is wrong here our in reset button only has a class of button so we're going to call it button save and now we would, we don't have any error let's try to draw and we can draw just like we could earlier let's choose different color let's try this color and try to draw again draw again and yeah we can still draw and if we click on reset as you can see this gets reset so our pixel or canvas is getting reset and now we want this input to work so whenever we change the value the size of our grid should change so let's see how we can do that so we're again going to say size element so let's go to here and let's say size el dot add event listener so we're going to listen for the change event so when it is changed we're going to say size equals to so size equals to size element dot value and then we can simply call our reset function so we're going to call the reset function save and if we were to save it refresh and let's change the change it to three okay it's not working let's see why is that so click on inspect okay assignment to constant variable this should be const not let since we're changing it so it will be let save let's try it one more time so let's make it 20 um let's see why why it is not working inspect okay reset is not a function let's see why is that oh yeah we never we have never created the reset function so what we are going to do is cut this so control x and we are going to create a function called reset so we are going to paste it and we will let's call this reset so here we can just say reset okay it should be reset and now we are getting this error saying the reset has already been declared once so here instead of saying reset we are going to call it reset button so copy this control c and we are going to call it reset button as well save now we don't have any error let's try to see if our reset still works so let's try this color click on reset and our reset is still working let's try to change our input so if we were to say 20 and blurred this now this div is 20 by 20 if we were to say 10 now we have this 10 by 10 grid but i want this to work as soon as i type so instead of saying change we are going to say key up save and now if we were to say 3 now we get 3 by 3 grid if we were to say 1 we get a grid of 1 if we were to say 40 we get a 40 by 40 grid and we can still draw of course so let's try this color let's try to draw and we can draw just like previously we can also change color and yeah so everything is working so that should be all for this video i hope you enjoyed it if so don't forget to leave a like and subscribe this helps me a lot and i'll see you next time